Hey guys, here today with a review of this tablet. It's the American Pumpkins 10.1-inch uh, Intel Android tablet. That's a mouthful, but <laughs> it's a really great tablet, and I've had it for a while now, and I really am. I'm loving it. It's super fast, and uh, I mean, the screen's really good. Now, sorry, there's a glare because I'm outside, because look at that. It's a gorgeous day out. So... I felt like reviewing outside. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to give you a little tour of this tablet, how fast it is, and what it's got. Alright, so just to start off, here we are, home screen. I installed the Google Now Launcher, as you can see, uh, just so that I like the app drawer. And, of course, Google Now itself, which I don't have any internet, so just warning you guys, it won't be... Uh, seeing anything like that any load times but that's a mute point because my internet's really slow anyways uh, so yeah I mean this is a good example though right here because this transition from the home screen to Google now is so smooth and on many tablets that I've installed uh, the Google now launcher on it's not it's kind of choppy like as you come across and not on this one this one's super smooth it's great um, and so is opening apps like everything just opens instantaneously like look at that boom it's already there and we go to calendar as soon as you tap it it's it's great it's crazy for such a like not low end but just cheap tablet it's got great specs it's got the intel processor and i honestly haven't found like it hasn't ever skipped a beat yet and uh, I don't know if you guys know this app showbox great app go ahead and check it out but um anyways we're not gonna talk too much about that but like I said opening apps very very quick now another thing is changing between apps is super quick which on a lot of tablets can't be said but uh, that's because it's got two gigabytes of RAM and I'm sure that processor just it helps so much because I've had other tablets that have large amounts of RAM but their processors let them down so they don't exactly uh, utilize that RAM to the full extent but this one everything's super fluid super fast um, so yeah, that's, that's the speed, and it's impressive, I gotta say. It's almost as fast, well, actually, I have done speed tests with my M8 and my HTC One M8, which I'm recording on, so can't really show you that, but, uh, the apps open up faster, or, um, just as fast as they do on my M8. So I'll, I was clicking on, I would have my tablet here, phone over here, tap them at the same time. This would open them quicker, like 75% of the time, which is really impressive. And my M8, I mean, it's got lollipop, so maybe it was the animations, but I don't know. It's really fast is the point. So don't worry about all that garble, but it's fast. That's all I'm saying. So... Uh, now, this comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, which, I mean, actually is 26, if you can see about that focus, yeah, 25.78, so 26 gigabytes of storage, which isn't bad at all, because many tablets, when you get 32, they're lower, so don't worry about that, it's plenty of space, I have, like, 40 episodes of a TV show and a bunch of movies on here. And it's still only got, what's it got? I think it said uh, 15, basically. 14.82. 15 gigabytes that I've used. So don't worry, you're going to have a hard time filling it up. And I mean, I even have big games on it. I have Asphalt 8, which plays great. The only thing is, is uh, it gets heated up a little bit. So yeah, watch out for that. <laughs> it actually popped up a message one time. 
thermal throttling uh, dimming display or something like that. So because it got so hot, it just turned down the brightness a little bit. Which, hey, I'm okay with that because it's saving the tablet. It's not going to explode. That's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that's the tablet uh, speed and everything. And here I'm just going to show you um, the ports. Let that focus. Okay, so yes, full USB right here. I use it all the time. It's so nice. Sorry, this is hard to get to focus. Right here is mini HDMI. Awesome, easy connect to your computer. Or not your computer, your TV. This one connects to your computer. The mini H, not mini HDMI. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. Mini USB right here. Uh, transfer files or whatever and charge as well obviously uh, and then right here is another charging this one charges it really quick this is what's included but yes you can uh, indeed charge it with the micro USB port so don't worry about that and 3.5 headphone jack and sorry I have an ant crawling on me let me get that off of me um, Oh, that's just an example of how good the rotation is. I mean, on many Androids, it's stuttery, but you could see that was smooth. And just last thing over here. This right here is a micro SD card slot right there by my thumb is where you put it in. Uh, but that is so helpful because if you do actually somehow run out of all of your space, then... You can go ahead and pop in a 64 gigabyte, and you will be set. Trust me. You you don't need any more storage than that. And if you do, I think this can even take a 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So, if you need to, go ahead and pop that in there. Anyways, that's my review, guys. Actually, I want to show you one more cool thing. Uh, sorry. Another ant on me. But, uh... If you go into the security here, you know, many times, you'll, these are the normal ones, okay, the normal ways of unlocking, slide, face unlock, pattern, pen, and password, but it adds voice unlock, which is awesome. I'm just going to show you an example of this. I'm going to set it up. Hello, Jarvis. Hello, Jarvis. Hello Jarvis. So just setting this up, uh, it's a cool way to unlock it. And um, just put a pattern. There we go. That's a uh, backup just in case you uh, forget what your password was. So this is just cool because you can speak your password to enter your tablet. Hello Jarvis. Hello, Jarvis. Okay, well, that was a bad example. Trust me, it works. I think it was because I was behind the camera. Hold on a second. Hello, Jarvis. There we go. That worked perfectly. So, yeah, before it was just because I was behind the camera, so it didn't hear me. Uh, anyways, that's a cool feature. I actually like it, and, I mean, it's cool to show off. I don't know if I'll use it that often, but it's fun. So... Yeah, this tablet's great. I haven't found a flaw, and the screen is good. I mean, you can see right now that it produces the colors quite decently. I mean, they are a little green, they tend to be, but that's okay with me. I mean, it's not actually that noticeable at all. I'm just super uh, picky when it comes to my screen, so the fact that I say that this is good, that's saying something. I'm always spoiled by at least 1080p screens, and it's good. I mean, you can't really notice pixels that much, and the only thing is, uh, oh, <laughs> look, there's even an ant on my screen now. The only downside about this tablet is the screen, so it's acceptable, and it's not even a downside. It's just something that isn't as extremely awesome as the rest of the tablet. Because the rest of the tablet is super fast and just wonderful. There's awesome extras, yet it keeps near to stock experience. So that's great, and I highly recommend this tablet. It is one of the fastest Android experiences I've ever had, and 
it's also got all these great ports right here, which I use all the time. So I highly suggest this tablet. One of the best budget tablets you will find. It's a 10.1 inch tablet for under 200 bucks. Go and get it, guys. It's really awesome.